This is an SU TV News Update, brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. Welcome, I'm Bryn Nelson. The U.S. Capitol building was on lockdown yesterday when a woman tried to run through the gate of the White House with her car. The whole incident started just a little after 2 p.m. An officer was injured, but the suspect was shot before any more injuries could occurred. The lockdown was lifted shortly after 3. Authorities say there is no evidence of terrorists, but believe the incident was not an accident. The one-year-old toddler from Hinterdale who ate a Tide detergent pot is slowly improving. The boy is being treated for poisoning at Sanford's Pediatric Intensive Care Unit. He started throwing up and could not breathe after biting into the pod. He was in critical condition, but as of Thursday morning, he is starting to show small signs of improvement. Just alone in 2012, 9,500 children under the age of 5 came into contact or swallowed the pods. A 36-year-old Fargo man identified as Joseph Hetland is facing charges after he was arrested early Thursday in connection with a car prowling incident in South Fargo. Officers were called at about 6 in the morning after a woman reported seeing a man with a backpack going through her vehicle. On the way to the call, police saw Hetland matching the description of the suspect. Hetland was detained and later identified by the caller as the man she saw. He is now facing charges of unlawful entry into a motor vehicle and possessing stolen property. The Gulf Coast area is under a tropical storm warning. From the tip of Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle, reports are coming in that Tropical Storm Karen could hit the area over the weekend. A storm watch has put in place for the West Florida coast and storm warning has been issued for the Louisiana area. Karen threatens to become the first named tropical storm to hit the United States this year. Late on Thursday, the National Hurricane Center said that the storm was about 340 miles south of the mouth of the Mississippi River and could be at hurricane strength later on today or early tomorrow. NDSU was notified that its U.S. Army Cadets Command ROTC program will be closed at the end of 2014-2015 school year. In a later letter addressed to the President Brashani, the Army is closing 13 of its 273 ROTC programs across the United States. More than 30% of the NDSU's ROTC cadets have earned Distinguished Military Graduate Honors within the last two years. Classes will be offered through May of 2015, and the remaining cadets in the program have the option to transfer to another. And now let's take a look at the weather brought to you by MapBus. Today it's looking like we're going to be rain and um, highs in the 50s and 40s. Looking later into the week, this weekend we're going to see rain, but later Sunday and Monday it's going to be sunny. And the rest of the week, it's going to be highs in the 60s. This has been an SUTV News Update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. This is an SUTV News Update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore.